I'm having a sore throat right now. And that's why it kind of sounds muffled. Something I usually go for in times like these is chicken soup. But what's even better, in my opinion, is kal guksu. Kal in Korean means knife and guksu means noodles. So today we'll be making a chicken stock based kal guksu. To start with, combine some maida, water and salt to make a dough. Use a fork to create a scraggling mass, which you can then knead by hand. The consistency of the dough should be quite similar to that of chapati dough. Let it rest for about 30 minutes. In the meantime, let's work on our chicken broth. Fill some water in a large pot and put it on the boil. While that's heating up, prep some garlic, onion, ginger, and whatever vegetable ends you have lying around. I had some broccoli, so just added the stock part. When the water comes to a roaring boil, add your prepped ingredients along with any other aromatic spices you might have. I added bay leaf and peppercorns. At this stage, add your chicken. I added mostly the bony parts for extra flavor. Put the lid on and let it boil until the chicken is fully cooked. In the meantime, prep any other veggies you might have lying around. I'm using potatoes and carrots. Once the chicken is cooked, remove the chicken pieces, the broccoli stock, bay leaf and ginger pieces. If you're lazy like me to use a strainer, then use a chopstick and play lucky draw for a bit. After that, add your veggies and bring to a boil again. In the meantime, let's get to the fun part. Or the tedious part. Making handmade noodles. Anyway, get your dough out, it should be nice and elastic by now because of the gluten formation. Place it on the counter and roll out into a sheet. You've really got to put your back into this if you've got weak arms like me. Fold it twice after dusting well with flour and cut into strips. Unravel your strips gently to yield beautiful, thick noodles. Shake off excess flour and transfer into the boiling pot of broth and veggies. Let it cook for a few minutes. It's seasoning time. Add soy sauce, fish sauce, salt and pepper. Taste as you go and adjust accordingly. For now, this is the basic recipe and frankly, it tastes great on its own. But if you have a little bit of patience left, here are some kalguksu toppings that you can definitely try out. The first basic one is of course shredding the chicken used to make the chicken stock. The second one is uh, mixing some kochukaru up with some of that delicious broth and adding a bit of soy sauce to create this nice chili paste. Third and probably my favorite is these egg strips uh, which you can make by whisking some eggs with salt, frying it and cutting it into these thin strips. Now it's time to plate and finally dig in. Ladle a generous helpful of that kalkuksu and broth, top it with some egg strips, the shredded chicken, the chili paste and to elevate it even further, some homemade kimchi. The broth was rich and aromatic and mixing all those toppings in definitely added more dimension to it. The noodles were chewy and bouncy and definitely much better than store-bought noodles. 